Imagine the Burj Khalifa, only taller. An elevator, but as fast as a train. A building, yet home to 100,000 people. An airport, yet inside the sand structure, as a railway system. Everything powered by nuclear energy. And all of that was within a single building. Welcome to the Illinois. What was the Illinois, anyway? It was a completely insane project, planned out, but never actually built. Back in 1956, the legendary architect Frank Lloyd Wright came up with the idea. He wanted to design a mega tower 528 floors, 1,609 meters tall. To put it simply, twice the height of the Burj Khalifa and the plan to build it right in Chicago. This skyscraper wasn't just meant for offices. It was supposed to house 100,000 people, plus hotels, schools, cinemas, shopping malls, basically an entire city inside one building. To give you a sense of scale, here's a quick comparison. St. Basil's Cathedral, 65 meters, Big Ben, 96, Eiffel Tower, 300 meters, Empire State Building, 381 meters, CN Tower, 553 meters, Burj Khalifa, 828 meters, and then the Illinois, 1,609 meters. That's around 16 times taller than Big Ben, but here's where it gets crazy. The Illinois was supposed to have 76 double-decker high-speed elevators, all powered by nuclear energy. Imagine that, and it wasn't just the elevators. The Illinois was designed to have its own full infrastructure, shopping centers, amusement parks, schools, everything inside this one tower. Even transportation, a train station built into the tower, plus a direct airport connection. So you could literally fly in and go straight up into the building. Of course, something like this would need an insane amount of energy. The idea was that the Illinois would be mostly self-sustaining, powered by nuclear energy. So why wasn't it ever built? Well, for one, it was technically almost impossible in the 1950s. The materials didn't exist. Elevators that fast didn't exist. And the question of stability. Yeah, that was a big one too. On top of that, money. The cost would have been absolutely astronomical. Politically, no one wanted to take responsibility either. So, it remained a vision on paper only. But, here's the question. Could something like the Illinois ever be built in the future? In a way, yes. Because a lot of Wright's ideas, like high-speed elevators, smart cities, and mixed-use skyscrapers are now standard in modern architecture. Still, if we're talking about building the Illinois exactly as it was imagined. Some architects believe it could take another 50 years before humanity is truly able to pull it off. <laughs>